And, you know, you mentioned sound healing, which is also so amazing. And you said the 528 hertz, which I think is the frequency of unconditional love, if I'm not mistaken, right? Is that correct? It, it is the one that's associated with the heart chakra. Okay. Oftentimes it's associated with positive vibrations, right? Because it has such a beautiful resonance and early studies on it, um, you know, just bringing that tie back to, to, to show that it does have an effect on healing human DNA is really profound. Uh, another incredible um study that I saw recently was on, uh, it was a Ted talk actually, uh, and a doctor that had been using 40 Hertz for his patients that had, um, Alzheimer's, mm. um, depression and Parkinson's with some really astounding results, um, of using protocols of only about three times a week, 20 minutes at a time to listen to this frequency. So to me, um, it's, it's really such an exciting time for someone like myself that has been in this field for decades and, and really seen the turn of, Oh, this is just, you know, woo woo. It doesn't really have credibility to looking at all of these studies. And especially, you know, when we start to talk about essential oils, um, it's truly remarkable. Um, what we are able to understand scientifically in a way that we've known, those of us that have worked with the plants for a very long time. And even if you look back to uh, texts, uh, medical texts from the early 1900s, they have a great emphasis on herbalism and homeopathy and using the plants in a way that, you know, um, Many individuals today have said, oh, no, it doesn't, you know, that's not real. But but if we actually look back to these uh, texts, we can see um, a great deal of healing prowess from the plant kingdom, from these natural medicines. 